Hello everyone! In this video I'll be talking about the two complications caused by magnetic resonance imaging MRI. So there will be two videos on this topic. The first part for general audience, short and sweet, and the second part for people who want to know more details. This video is the first of the two. It is subdivided into two sections. In the first section, we'll be talking about prevalence of MRI-related tattoo complications and the existing case reports. And in the second section, we will be briefly addressing the question what is the most plausible mechanism by which the tattoo-related MRI complications happen. So this is the summary of case reports present so far in the scientific literature. There have been 17 reported cases of tattoo-related MRI complications, 12 due to tattoos and 5 due to permanent makeup. By the way, permanent makeup is also often referred to as cosmetic tattoos, so please don't get confused, it means the same thing. So anyway, three quarters of patients who experience complications reported burning sensation in the tattoos, the rest of them described what they felt with terms like tingling, tightening sensation, or stinging pain. The pain seems to appear suddenly, but also disappears as soon as the scanning terminates. In most cases, the pain starts during the MRI examination, although in few cases, the reaction started immediately after entering the MRI room. Sometimes the symptoms required interruption of examination. In 10 cases, the symptoms were accompanied by swelling and redness of a tattoo and surrounding skin. However, the skin recovery is very fast and there are no case reports of later distortion of a tattoo design, fade in tattoo color, ulceration or scarring. So that's all the most important information regarding case reports. There have also been two surveys done that try to estimate the prevalence of MRI-related tattoo complications. The first focused only on permanent makeup. The authors reached out to 135 people who underwent MRI scan after application of permanent cosmetics. Only two of them reported an adverse reaction, slight tingling sensation in the first case and burning sensation in the other case, neither of which were severe enough to terminate the examination. The second research studied 330 volunteers with tattoos. The tattoos need to satisfy certain criteria. For instance, they had to cover more than 5% body area. The participants were asked to undergo MRI scan. One person reported tight and warm feeling in the tattooed area, which was classified as an adverse reaction, and another person retrospectively reported awareness of a tattoo and tingling when scanning began. This was not classified as an adverse reaction. This research estimated that the probability of a tattoo adverse reaction due to MRI scan was 0.17%. Okay, so that's all the information currently available regarding prevalence of tattoos related MRI adverse reactions. And you may think, well, there are too little cases to feel any concern. And that is fair enough. However, the cases might be underestimated for the following reasons. Patients who undergo MRI scans have a medical problem of first priority and burning sensation in a tattoo unless it requires termination of examination just simply does not seem like an important problem. The number of cases may rise in the future due to higher prevalence of tattoos among young people who first need MRI examinations later in life. And finally, there is a lack of academic interest in the topic, as well as a lack of knowledge among physicians. Now let's move on to the most interesting part of the video. Let's try to find out what is causing the adverse reactions. First, a bit of background. One of the most important parts of MRI machine is a giant magnet, 60,000 times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field, and there is a strict prohibition of having magnetic materials during MRI scan. Back to the topic of tattoos. So it used to be thought that burning sensation in tattoos during MRI scan is due to thermal burning. However, burning sensation does not imply thermal burning. There are a number of reasons other than increase in temperature 
that can trigger a sensation of burning. We know that from everyday life. Substances like alcohol, salicylic acid, lactic acid, other known reasons for burning sensation are, for instance, reactive oxygen species reactions or physical nerve damage. So recently, research was performed that tried to find out whether burning sensation in tattoos during MRI is due to temperature rise. How was it done? Well, simply a selection of tattoo pigments was placed in MRI and scans were performed. Temperature was measured and there was no statistically significant increase in temperature. Bear in mind, to cause a burn, the temperature would have to rise to 50 Celsius or more. Among the investigated pigments were iron oxides. Some types of iron oxides were visibly attracted to the magnet. Here we see a photo from the publication. Samples were placed in the center of the petri dishes and we can see that at the end of MRI scan they moved to the side. But as I said, the temperature did not rise. Also, iron oxides were the only pigments that responded to the magnet. At that time, the researchers did not come to any conclusions as to what is the culprit of tattoo-related MRI reactions. However, the same team, two years later, wrote a review on MRI tattoo-related complications and concluded that the most probable reason for the adverse reactions during MRI seems to be attraction of ink particles to the magnet. We read, the immediate sensation of burn and the mild irritation of the tattooed skin without any permanent skin damage make it more plausible that rotational forces and attractive forces of magnetic and paramagnetic ink particles are causing the reported events. The authors found one particular case report that strongly support the hypothesis magnetic attractive forces are the reason for the tattoo-related MRI complications. A patient, professional footballer, underwent four successful MRI scans over the course of his career only to develop an adverse reaction during the fifth scan. We read, the apparent development of sensitivity could also point to a partial ordering of magnetic materials in the tattoo pigment induced by the exposure to high static magnetic fields. Okay, so that's all about the cause of tattoo-related adverse reactions during MRI. Now let's look at which tattoo colors, according to the review, caused the most complications during MRI scans. There were black tattoos, five publications reported dark blue or black eyeliners, and one reported dark red lip liner. In general, we talk about dark or black tattoos. In the second part of the video, we'll be going into more details and trying to justify why dark colors seem to cause adverse reactions. For now, I just want to remind you, please always use the best ink brands. By doing so, you will avoid magnetically active impurities or metallic impurities that respond to changing magnetic field. Lastly, let's mention what the review suggests for people who experience adverse reactions during MRI. In the case of adverse reactions, cold pressure dressings and ice packs can be used during MRI. The authors also recommend painkillers in the form of gels and sprays for reducing induced pain. So these are the most important facts currently available about MRI and tattoos. Thank you for watching. Bye.